hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so hope you are all doing well today i am with another passing package for the civil stream students it is the strength of material some subject where most of the students are struggling it is the concern for most of the students how to pass this okay so let me discuss some passing modules and important questions from this subject right so subject code is bcv301 so first question which is the most important one explain the relationship between young's modulus bulk modulus and poisson's ratio okay so next is explain uh, elastic constants or uh, the question may be explain four elastic constants okay like bulk modulus bulk modulus rigidity modulus okay uh, etc and next one is uh, derive the expression for extension of rectangular tapering bar subject to an axial load p or sometimes they will ask you derive the expression for extension of circular tapering bar these are the two uh, types over here two type of bars so here is the rectangular tapering bar and next is circular tapering bar okay these are the two questions which i combined in this otherwise this is a separate question okay next is derive the relationship between young's modulus rigidity modulus and poisson's ratio it was young's modulus bulk modulus and poisson's ratio it is young's modulus rigidity modulus and poisson's ratio this may be the also derivation over there okay rigidity modulus next is some definition is they may ask some like a uh, uh, stress strain modulus of elasticity poisson's ratio or temperature stress in a simple bar is okay and uh, starting from hooke's law draw stress strain diagram and explain its salient points okay and uh, problem is you have to practice from the previous year question papers you can refer the 2018 scheme papers okay as the syllabus is exact the same as you have uh, in your syllabus copy okay you can refer a 2018 scheme paper if you have not 2018 scheme papers i will just upload in my instagram account where i am uploading the model question papers or previous year question papers i will just upload okay i will definitely upload these uh, previous year question papers of some subject okay so problems are very easy once you are aware of these uh, relationships between young's modulus bulk modulus and poisson's ratio and young's modulus rigidity modulus and poisson's ratio so you have to use those uh, formulas in the questions itself okay we can go through easily uh, the problems on this particular topic so this is all about model first which you have to cover next is model second in which you have to go through establish the relationship between bending moment shear force and intensity of uh, udl or loading simply i can say this is the most important question from this model next is they may ask you suppose five marks question on uh, types of beams types of supports and types of loadings right next is just the assumptions made in simple theory of bending <coughs> next is definition is like what is shear force what is bending moment contraflexure what is point of inflexure okay so next is the problems on sfd bmd it is the 12 marks maybe the question or 15 marks sometimes okay you have to practice well on the sfd bmd okay shear force diagram and bending moment diagram if you are good in this you can easily score 20 marks from this particular module okay these are the very important ones smd and sfd and bmd okay this is all about the model second the theory questions these whatever i mentioned they may ask in the examination and rest of the questions are on sfd and bmd next is module third derive the equation of pure bending m by i is equal to sigma by y is equal to e by r most important one with the no, uh, usual notations state the assumptions made in theory of uh, pure torsion derive an expression for power transmitted by a shaft this may be the possible question and derive torsion equation t by j c theta by l is equal to q by r for a circular shaft subjected to pure torsion okay and some definitions like c, uh, section modulus flexural regulus of rupture over here okay and also you have to go through these uh, particular type of problems like bending stress and shear force distribution most frequently asked question is on the i i section if you just repeat your previous year question papers i section you will see most of the times have appeared in the examination so also go through previous year question papers and solve some problems on i section okay that will be definitely beneficial for you people to score well in the model third also okay next is the model fourth which is the uh, uh, passing module derive an expression to determine buckling load for column when one end is fixed other end is hinged it is the super important question list the various assumptions to derive the expression for buckling load for long column or simply uh, they will ask you uh, various assumptions of euler's column theory right next is super important one derive equation for buckling load in a long column with both ends hinged using euler's column theory right 
Next is the problems on columns you should go through which are the very simpler ones as you already know there are uh, two chapters from each module so you can go through only one chapter uh, in this particular module fourth over here that is your Euler's column theory or columns simply okay problems on columns go through and derive the deflection equation for a beam in standard form ei d square y by dx square is equal to minus m okay it is the another chapter part but sometimes what they are uh, what we call asking in the examination they are intermixing the question suppose they will ask you this uh, particular derivation and give the problems on problems on columns okay and uh, sometimes they will give you these type of uh, derivations and questions on deflection okay so vast syllabus is there uh, as per my experience i think uh, you can go through only one chapter in this model four to are there okay next is model fifth derive lamy's equation for radial and hoop stress okay for thick cylinder subjected to internal and external fluid pressure is most important this is a super important question and differentiate between thin and thick cylinders for thin cylinder derive the equation for circumferential stress and longitudinal stress again a super important one explain maximum shear stress theory of a failure what are the principal stresses and uh, principal planes and also you should go through this variety of questions like uh, thin cylinder and thick cylinder uh, which are is convenient for you people or you can go through this one principal stress and principal plan is uh, where you have to calculate this one and normal and shear stress maximum shear stress and their plan is so whichever is convenient for you people you can go through these variety of problems over there so this is all about the some subject these are the important questions which you should refer so you can only go through these uh, whatever the theory questions i have mentioned you just prepare those you will easily pass this some subject very well over there okay so make sure you will share this video to all your friends who actually need it so thanks for watching the video and all the best for your examinations